good? Uh, we're yes. all good? Okay. okay. Crumbling Necropolis. Oh, Go. tap land. Let's play Breathing Pool. Orin Reef the Vastwood comes into play tapped. Wooded Foothills. Sacrifice it for a savanna. Exploration. Oh! And my oh. second land is Command Tower. I had an Exploration turn one, which is a great start for my deck, because I could play two lands a turn and just be so far ahead of everyone else. Oh gosh, it's it has begun. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, that's pretty decent. We got we got problems already, everybody. Sandstep Citadel. Go ahead, Jimmy. Nice. So I keep a pretty normal opening hand without any ramp in it. Uh, Rootbound Crag, and I'll pass turn. Tap two, and we'll bring out Blade of Selves. Ooh, Blade scary. Of selves. This card is nuts. I'm nervous dropping such a high priority item in terms of people who have removal, but that's kind of how Commander works. Pass turn. If it's gonna get removed, it's gonna get removed. I'd rather just play the card and hope to have some fun. Play an Enchantress's presence. Okay, so right. the card drives is on, the ramp's on. I already had two more enchantments in my hand, so I knew that I was gonna get a really good engine going. Every turn I was going to play at least two spells, uh, draw a card for each spell I play, and play two lands a turn. She's already the best player, she probably has the strongest deck, and she's off to the best start. So I was feeling really good at that point. We're in trouble. I'll tap three and I will play Fevered Visions. Ooh. Mm. So, so we'll at, all draw two. And once everyone's drawing a lot of cards, then I'm likely to draw into more cards that are gonna have everybody draw more cards, and that just kind of can get you rolling. It's mildly annoying, but I like the card draw, so I can't complain, and I'm at a pretty high life total, so you know what? I'll roll with it. I'm gonna play a Shaman of Forgotten Ways. So I play it, everyone sees it and is like, oh, he's gonna ramp out more creatures with that, which is exactly the reaction I want people to have, because in my mind, I'm thinking, if this creature sticks around and I can get to that mana, I can sneakily win the game with it. Jimmy, down to 35. Thank you, Fevered Visions. Well, it's, I mean, you did three of it to yourself. That's true. Uh, so let's bring out a Sabertooth Cobra. Wait, is that a poison? Is that an effect poison creature? <laughs> kind of. So Prof plays this card, and it's one of these old cards in Magic, and the text on it is just kind of like, confusing. Before the upkeep step. So you can pay it like right away, basically. So, yeah, just at the before, beginning. Yeah. But can you pay at the beginning? Is it a trigger? I don't know how that works. That's the well, oracle? Well, that, that does yeah. not sound like a trigger to me. It sounds like yeah. you have to pay it during you, your turn or something. Well, you, could you do it untap and then pay it during untap? No. Pretty weird. <laughs> Had a lot of words on it. I don't even, I'm still not sure how the card works, but I'm like, whatever, whatever, we'll figure it out or I'll just ignore it, I don't know. I feel like everyone is complaining about my Cobra too much. It's a really simple card. If it hits you, you get a poison counter, and if you don't pay the two, you get another one. What's the big deal? Well, when do you pay the two? Before your upkeep. But like when? Before your upkeep. Well, when's that tr trigger happen? Where Any I time. This is not complicated. If I can, I'm an English major and I can handle this. I don't, everyone's just complaining. <laughs> All right, so draw my card for Fevered Visions and I take two damage. I'm two gonna cards. play Sigil of the Empty Throne. Oh, that's pretty bad. That's bad. <laughs> She's just gonna start getting angels for every card she plays. So every time I play an enchantment, I'm gonna draw a card and make a 4-4 angel. And it's turn three. Okay, this is really bad. I don't even know how much longer we're gonna last in this game, honestly, because I'm not even two enough mana to do anything good. You know, definitely can't wipe all the stuff away. And now we have to wipe away all enchantments and creatures if she gets a bunch of angels. Like, this is just really bad. So at that point, I feel like I can't lose. I hope one of you has enchantment removal for that.